Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving again into the magical world of Hogwarts Legacy and discussing some of the biggest mistakes that players make while playing the game. But fear not, because we've got some tips and tricks to help you avoid these common pitfalls and become a true wizarding champion. So if you're ready to up your game and take on the challenges of Hogwarts Legacy, then keep watching. And the first mistake they make is not upgrading inventory space. When players first begin, they'll have very limited inventory space and will be unable to carry much gear. This is a problem because loot items like robes, goggles, and gloves cannot be scavenged for parts and must instead be sold to gain value. Players who leave loot behind will miss out on free galleons, so it's critical to maximize inventory capacity as soon as possible. Fortunately, the player can complete Merlin Trials, which are small puzzles scattered throughout the map. The second mistake most people make is not upgrading gear. As the loom, which can be unlocked and found in the Room of Requirement, can be used to upgrade the player's gear, most clothing items have three levels that can be upgraded using the Varium resources to increase the magical offense and defense stats of that piece of gear. Players can also add a trait to certain items, providing a unique buff to specific spell types or damage outputs. And no need to worry if you don't like the look of a particular cosmetic, you can always change your appearance to whatever you want. The third one is ignoring powerful utility spells. With so many spells to choose from, it's easy to become overly focused on damage and overlook the utility of some spells. This is a major oversight as these spells have the potential to turn the tide of a magical duel or allow players to take down dangerous creatures more. Expelliarmus and Stupefy disarm and stun enemies, respectively, whereas Crucio causes excruciating pain and Petrificus Totalus weakens them. Another mistake on the list is only using plants for potions. Players will gain the ability to grow plants in the Room of Requirement, and then mix and brew them together to create powerful potions as they progress through the game. What some players may not realize is that some plants can be carried around and used in combat. Players can attack their opponents with chomping cabbages or use a mandrake root screech to incapacitate nearby foes. The fifth mistake on our list is ignoring the owl post. The Owl Post is the in-game mailing system in Hogwarts Legacy that allows NPCs to send letters and notes to the player. It's easy to dismiss this mechanic as simply providing some character development and backstory for the various students that players will meet throughout Hogwarts. However, opening and reading these notes will occasionally result in the addition of new quests to the quest log some of which will reward the player with new cosmetics and abilities. The sixth mistake is ignoring the Room of Requirement quests. Players will gain access to the Room of Requirement several hours into the game, which serves as a base of operation from which they can grow plants, brew potions, upgrade gear, and breed beasts. The majority of these must be unlocked by completing various quests related to the Room of Requirement, which can be initiated by speaking with the House Elf Deke. Many require the player to advance further in the story, obtain rare ingredients, or purchase expensive recipes, which can be discouraging in the early game. However, if players persevere, they can eventually transform the Room of Requirement into a highly convenient producer of potions and resources. Next on the list is not adapting tactics. The various opponents encountered throughout Hogwarts and its grounds will have varying abilities and strengths, necessitating the player's adaptation of spellcasting to the situation at hand. Some enemies will have colored magical shields that allow them to avoid most types of damage. To break the shield, players must use a spell of the corresponding color. As a result, players should keep several different color spells in their spell sets, preferably more than one of each type. And finally, ignoring side and companion quests. There are numerous quests available to players, but some provide better rewards than others. The lock-picking Alohamora spell, for example, can only be obtained by assisting Gladwin Moon, the caretaker. Each Hogwarts house has a companion, and by completing quests for them, 
players can gain access to exclusive rewards that will aid them in future missions. Natsai grants players the ability to fly magical creatures, while Amit can translate Gobbledygook, and Sebastian can teach them the unforgivable curses. So, there you have it! Do let us know in the comments below if you've learned anything, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on the world of magic and wizardry. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.